Rose Crans Radio. We're live on Dash Radio iCraft Station. I'm Rose Crans Vic. That's Cypress Marina on the turntables. I'm Giggles Irene. And we have a, a very special guest in the building today. He's the flyest new rapper from Diamond Lane <laughs> Music Group. Uh, I like that. I like that. Airplane James and my yeah, guy yeah, TC. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up with y'all? Hey, we chilling, man. I'm, I just got back from San Diego. I went on a little family trip to the zoo. It was cool. I saw some lions, some tigers, <laughs> and bears. <laughs> and so <laughs> so uh, for, for those who don't know, who's Airplane James? Where is he from? Airplane James is your regular nigga off the east side speaking for the east side. That's who I am. So where did the name airplane come from? Like, were you born on a plane or like? <laughs> <laughs> where did it come from? Um, well, my middle name's James, so I decided to go with that. And then um, my grandma, she talks a gang of shit. Like, mm -hmm. she just that's who she is. And um, I never listened growing up, so she would call me hardhead, and she was like. You just don't listen. Your head is just wide as a fucking airplane. <laughs> so, so you just went with it. I'm like, you know what? She always say that to this day. I'm like, you know what? To honor you, I'm just going to use airplane. Yeah. That's dope. That's so, a dope story. That's funny. On everything. So, so uh, speaking of that, what kind of kid were you growing up? I was terrible. I'm not going to lie. I was terrible. Man. I kicked out of school, all that. I, I just, I don't know. I couldn't get it together, man. What was it? You had like a problem listening, authority? <laughs> what was it? Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I think it's the damn area I grew up in, man. I couldn't, I run it with my school? older homies, you know, trying to do what they do. And yeah. I mean, the area I went to, like, I went to uh, Fremont okay. High, so, you know, yeah. that's a predominantly blood school. So, yeah. you know, the guys I was running with at the time, you know what I'm saying, they was on the other side of the car. Yeah. And I didn't bang or nothing like that, but it was just, that's who I was running with. So they got yeah. word in mouth. It was like, man, I can't go to this school. Yeah. So I just, I wasn't going to school, man. I was hanging yeah. out. Yeah. So um, at what point did you uh, fall in love with hip hop? Mm. Honestly, I've been doing music since shit. I remember strictly being in like sixth grade, seven. I mean, but I've been writing music, trying to put words together since I was like a youngin'. But I remember seriously, I had just like this little MP3 shit, and I could record on it, and I got it like to my little computer. Who was that? I think my first record was uh, I did a freestyle over Bow Wow versus I'm Hey, uh, and I was hey. Uh, <laughs> and, from the, and I was I, I don't even know how old I was, but I'm like, you know what? I'm fucking with this, and I I did Yo. a freestyle over that. It was probably how, terrible. How old were you? But how old were you? I don't know. I probably I was in the sixth grade, so I don't know how old I was then, but. Yo, did you just like spit the lyrics but like change them? You're like, 12 years old, maybe <laughs> no, old I had, again. Like, <laughs> no, no, I had my own lyrics though, for sure. But I had the little MP3 to the computer speaker like yeah. recorded. I had a song recorded though. That's and that's I used dope. to listen to it all the time. That's Shout out Bow Wow, he's a legend. Legendary. Not not so much now, but back then, definitely. Man, he's still a legend, man. Y'all leave that man alone. You got that man specific. I've been seeing the slander on Twitter. Shad I don't Moss. like it. We no, like Bow Wow, we don't like Shad Moss. It's just like the way to like make fun of him, you know, just like the way he does it to himself. Yeah, he does. He sets himself up a lot. Yeah, Lil Romeo don't do shit like that. ICDC. <laughs> oh wait, no, he did go to ICDC college. Do y'all remember the, <laughs> no, the, 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 the the Bow Wow versus Romeo going up? Yeah, yeah. That? that was yeah. fake, but yeah. I'm Team Bow Wow still. I was, team Bow Wow. I was little sure. Romeo. I was like, uh, 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 Romeo never, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it never materialized for him musically. I don't know, but I remember watching Cribs. He had like a little mini bands. I'm like, damn, <laughs> Romeo on. Oh. So uh, speaking of that, who was your biggest influence in rap? Uh, right now or growing up? Growing up. Uh, I feel like I was just listening to whatever, like Hot Boys. I listened to the Hot Boys. Um, after that, I was a big Lil Wayne fan. Huge Lil Wayne fan. Like when I started taking it serious, that's when like dedication was out and all that shit. He was doing yeah. similes and metaphors and shit. I'm like, man, yeah. I was trying to rap like him. Wayne, Wiz Khalifa. When yeah. he first came out, I'm talking about like when he had the band. What's that CD with the purple? Deal or No Deal? When he was talking, I think yeah. that inspired my name when too a little really bit too rapping? as well. Oh, okay. Playing. Deal or No Deal? When yeah. he was like doing all the Taylor gang and the yeah, playing yeah. shit. Um, and then when Drake dropped, big Drake fan. And 
I think that's who inspired me musically. Yeah. I mean, oh. Tupac, but you know, yeah, yeah. obviously, I have to go back and do my homework on him. Yeah, though. yeah. Because yeah. I hate when people do interviews like, are you true? Mm, shut up. What do you want? Do you want to see what I want? Like, <laughs> like feel me? so I had to go back and do my research on Tupac, and I, I love what Tupac do too as well. Yeah, yeah. When did you realize you were a really talented rapper? Um, honestly, I always felt I had it. Um, but let me tell you, uh, I was doing music on this FL bullshit. My, my uncle bought me this studio. FL studio? Yeah. I was like, don't sound that. Don't sound that. A lot of people making money. No, back then, yeah. But back then, though. Yeah. Well, you had like the old version or what? I had the old, old version. FL Studio 2? Damn. I, I <laughs> probably close to it, shit. Um, um, but I, I had did this, uh... This remix to Chris Brown, Take You Down. Damn. TC ain't even knowing this. I'm, not, I'm, I'm dropping, I'm dropping, I'm dropping oh gems God. tonight. You used to sing or what? I wasn't singing. I was rapping over that motherfucker. And um, I never get it. My cousin, baby mama, L'Oreal, she see this, she gonna die laughing. She walk, like everybody in my family, like man, bro, you trash, like you trash, oh stop, gosh. like yeah. man. She was like, you hard as fuck. And from that day forward, I took, it, I took yeah. it serious. Like, yeah, I'm sometimes like, that's all you need. I'm like, no, nah, for real. You just need one person. I'm like, you for real? Yeah, yeah, she yeah. like, yeah. you hard as fuck. I'm like, all right. Yeah. So when my cousin, uh, you know, like, man, that shit whack. I'm like, shit, your girl don't think so, nigga. Oh. <laughs> 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 you know, like, damn. So if she see this, she gonna start dying laughing. She don't even know. She like, shout birth out my career. Shout out L'Oreal, shout out Shout out Barnier, L'Oreal. Yeah, Fructis, all that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, shout out the hair products. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Pro V. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh so, uh, bring us to now. Um, how did you meet Problem? How did I meet Problem? Actually, uh, we, we both have the same mutual friends. Like, his big homies is my big homies. So, uh, we always kind of been around each other, but just never quite, like, been around each other. Like, we was in yeah. the same events, rough shoulders, but never really clicked until um, I was putting together, like, a tape or whatever, and the big homie heard it, and he was just like, you know what, let me take this, let me take this over there. And problem being the one he is, like, nah, bring him over here. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, uh, they set up a, this is funny, <laughs> they set up a studio session, and I'm a regular nigga, so I'm like, I don't really know problem like that at this time, so I'm like, I'm like, stoked, like, shit, I'm about to go to the studio with problem. I'm like, yeah, this shit. <laughs> I write pre writs all type of shit. I got eight verses ready to go, like, yeah. nigga, what you wanna do? So, um, we get up there. He there, like, he playing it cool, like, it's them, the producer. Uh, it's like, uh, damn, I think uh, it was authentic, the one I do, like, he do a lot of RJ shit. Yeah. He was there, and um, he was there, like, we uh, we made the beat, like, we picked the beat, made a song. I spent my hottest fucking 16, and he fucking didn't even write nothing and went in there and killed my whole fucking 16. And I was damn. just like, dog. He's like, what's up? That's it? You ready to go? Like we he was going back to back to back. I'm like, damn, I tap out, man. Wow. And that was the first night we met. And then after that, it was like, I called him back home, like, yo, can you take me back up? He's like, no. Nope. <laughs> like that's, <laughs> that's on you to get back up there. Yeah. So um they had another artist at the time, uh, Stony the Diller. Oh, I remember know, him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so he heard the song that we did. And when he heard the song we did, probably didn't initially get back to me, but Stoney was like, yo, this nigga hard. I'm finna get in touch with this nigga. So he followed me, DM me, like, yo, come to the studio. Yeah. And then that was like my avenue. With oh, life. okay. Oh, shit, that's tight. That's dope. I was working with Stoney, but then yeah. Prop fell in love with me. He was like, hi. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, um, how's your time with Diamond Lane been so far? Um, I would say my time with Diamond Lane has been a learning experience. Like, they really took me in and mentored me because. Prior to them, didn't know shit about the music industry, and they were really teaching me the ins and outs. Like, yeah. I'd say it's definitely a learning experience, but a good one. Yeah. So, um, what was funny about you? I mean, I've known about you for a while because of mm. South. Shout out, 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 um, and the first time a lot of people got to know you and to see you, you were like in the back of a convertible 
rapping with problem to ninth wonder beats mm -hmm. like that might be one of the most legendary intros to the game ever yeah. if you think about it yeah it's really lit like, so speak on that man I'm just like any regular nigga though, so I'm still taking it in too. Like when I see myself on Instagram, I'm like, yo, lit. You see this shit? I be showing people like, yo, look, this comedy. Yeah. You feel me? The fact that even Knife Wonder even acknowledge. I mean, he don't let anybody on his records. First yeah. of all, so. yeah, I'm sure he has like creative control. Yeah, like, like you know what I'm saying. He does Kendrick. She does all that shit. So for him to be like, yo, Green Light, like that was like yeah. on the top of my list. Like I could knock that off. Like yeah. So I would say like that shit is like top ten for me. Like yeah. being with problem right around the city of LA. We actually y'all didn't really see in the video. We took it to my hood. Like we was riding through the east side. I'm like, yo, I told him to do that. Like Were you yeah. waving at all the girls that curve you like, look at me now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm super petty, so yeah. I'm super petty. Like, so you get my phone nowadays, I'm laughing at your ass. So y'all need you, I just slide through my DMs. Man, I'm right? opening snaps, people being on red. Watch yeah. me do the intro. I've changed already, man. I've changed. That's the problem. So you've changed. <laughs> I've changed. So uh, was that like a calculated step to like have that be like one of your first visuals? Or was it just like organic? Like it just kind of came about? I say a little bit of both. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Um, how that record even came about. I'm actually on a record on his uh, mixtape he dropped in January, Deaf Ears. Yeah. That kind of, I would say, flew under the radar a little bit. Yeah. But um, uh, after that, I was kind of feeling myself a little bit. Like I told you, I'm yeah. like regular as fuck. Yeah, so yeah. I was feeling myself off the Deaf Ears record. Yeah. So probably like, come to the studio, I'm like, nah. Chilling. What? <laughs> he like, you went to Hollywood oh, that fast? Yeah. Chilling. <laughs> he like, watch this. Record, I mean, but mind you, the, the, the tape had just dropped. He like, okay, watch this. The man had, he had Selfish done already. Oh, and I come shit. to the studio like, damn, bro. He like, yeah, it's done. So he put the beat on. I'm like, he like, yeah, man, just put something on that. I'm like, that shit hard. And as he leaving, he leaving like, man, but do the verse tonight. I'm like, all right. And he leave me like knife wanna produce that. I'm like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to kill this shit. <laughs> so I called him like 20 times. He doing he doing the same shit I'm doing to him. Not picking up the phone. <laughs> he doing the same shit. I'm about calling him like, man, did you, you hear the verse? Did you hear the verse? Did you hear the verse? So he finally answered. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. He was like, it was cool, it was good enough. He's like, nah, I just like you killed that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's how the record came about. Yeah. And it's just like it was organic. So then when it came about and the, the, the label CEO heard it, he was like, Oh, well this is what we're gonna do and he put the play together video. Like we actually had we had a meeting about just the selfish push in general mm -hmm. and um they wanted to actually just drop the record and I was like, Nah, that record needs a visual. Yeah. And then they really loved that. They're like, damn, like you're a team player, like Yeah. You want to get heard, like you could just drop it and you feel me, you get heard, but you really like take the time, like let's shoot a video yeah. and drop it. So mm -hmm. it was like, that's why I say it was a little bit both. Yeah. So um, this is for you and TC. Um, yeah, TC. Yeah. So uh, speak on being in the sessions with Problem during like the recording of Selfish and like these other projects. I know, I felt like Selfish was one of the best projects this year. Definitely. Mm. So yeah, just speak on your guys' time. I know you probably got some production credits on there, if I'm not mistaken. Nah, nah, I didn't, I didn't get on this one. I was around, but I didn't get on yeah, this yeah. one. I'm definitely going to be on the next one. Yeah, yeah. But just speak about the vibe in there. Like, what was it like? Yeah, you know what I learned? It was like watching, like watching somebody just be great. Like, I know that sounds real generic, but like literally watching somebody be great. Yeah. And it's like the work ethic. Like, I always hear people say, like, oh, you know, work ethic, work ethic. But, like, that shit is really true. Like, I really watch, do, like, record, go back to records. Uh, like, we had heard the album originally in one form. And by the time we heard it, when oh, it came me, out. Let me, let me cut in. Yeah. Hell, let me tell you about Selfish. I'm probably know if I should, but I don't give a fuck. Uh -oh. Um, uh -oh. <laughs> selfish wasn't even selfish at first. It was uh, Reloaded. Side A, Side B. Gang of records. Yeah. And all fire too. All fire though, like like and he had to cut he like he cut that shit down to the nine records. Yeah. So just even yeah. that's just like damn, like you had all these records at yeah. the top of the year, it's like you have to cut that down. So yeah, and then watching him is like, okay. It's like watching him is kinda like, okay, well I see why you are who you are. I see why yeah. you get to move how you get to move. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, he don't sleep. I got a damn story about that, too. Like, <laughs> shit, he shot the video, the mission statement video. Um, he used my car for the video. So I had to be there. So he shot the damn video same night, went back to the studio, edited the video with the dude the same night. It's probably like 5 in the morning. I'm tapping out. I'm like, shit, y'all still need the car? <laughs> <laughs> I need to go get some sleep. They finished, They finally finished the shit. Actually, no. They had this one scene where they had to like recut it, re-edit it. He's like, man, let's go out and do it right now. I'm like, nigga, it's five minutes the morning. <laughs> <laughs> they really go reshoot it, do it, come back. I'm like, it's it's 5.30 now. I'm like, yo, man. Uh, yeah, man, I'm going to see you in the morning, bro. I got to <laughs> I, I gotta go. He no. like, oh, I'm like, you about to slide? He like, no, I got to do this verse for polyester. <laughs> I'm like, all right, my nigga. I'm, t- <laughs> I'm tapping out. But mind you, you had to perform at the Staples Center at 11. Wow. Holy crap. I, and he wanted me to come to that. I went home, fell asleep, and I knocked out. And he was on my head about that. And ever since then, I ain't, I ain't missed a beat. But that, yeah. that that's his work ethic. Yeah. Like, I'm like, bro, did you sleep? He's like, nah, I just got some coffee. He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? It's like, this is a dude who's like, been a fucking staple out here. Yeah. And he's accomplished, and the nigga's still working like, like if like he's at our level yeah, right yeah, yeah. now, so it's just like for has us to be, to be bullshit, and it's just like yo, y'all crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, that's dope. Yeah. So, uh, plain um, speak on plain conversation. What can we expect from that? Go ahead, TC. Nah, man, it's your album. Man. It's, <laughs> it's all of our album, but yeah, yeah. it's your story, bro. I want him to talk about the album first, though, because he's handling most of the production, and uh-huh. he actually. Cause me, I'm so indecisive. Yeah. Like I love all my records. They like my baby. So yeah. every record I do, I'm like explain conversation. He's like, yo, can't put a hundred records on the album. Yeah. yeah. Chris Brown did it though. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Come on. And I went. To, I, just, I took a five hour drive to the Bay Area. And that's uh, shout out to Chris Brown. But that's the only reason why I listen to that shit. <laughs> like, five like, oh, hours. Like hey, you know what? You know what? I'm fire. Damn. Hey, but you know every what? Every song. Every song is fire. I, yeah. I couldn't believe it. I'm like. Yeah. Yo, this nigga is not missing, like, yep. at all. I see why he records. couldn't cut it. I think he just put a, uh, and then he put a bonus out for yeah. like No, he did. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, he did. I saw a tweet oh and I said, man, leave us alone. <laughs> 15 more records. I'm like, yo, this nigga don't sleep. What is he doing, man? Fuck. Karuchi, come back, man. I need to give him a break. Shit. Oh, my God. But, um... Go ahead. Conversation, man. It's um, you know, I started working with this dude uh, when we were doing Manchester Playlist. His first like under the radar mixtape that I discovered him with. Yeah. Um, but this this album it's been like a it's been a long time coming, man, because it's gone through it's gone through many different states. But at the end of the day, we always go back to the ones that we had. So like we start to realize, yo. We still love these ones. Like we're making better joints. We're making more joints, but it's like, but these ones right yeah. here. So um, we've learned like not to get like married to them. But yeah. like I said, those ones right there. That's it. But uh, the plain conversation as a whole, man, it's been a great experience because it's like it's my first time like being hands on with an artist and really building like the producer uh, artist relationship and just building like we like you know it's a crew. You know it's me. It's him. You got a problem, you got Sal. Um, that's been the main core of it, just me playing problem with Sal yeah. and uh, just making everything better. Um, I like the sound of it. The sound is like, it's fresh. I feel like, wait, you know, we were talking about all the new artists out here right yeah. now. Yeah. I feel like we're feeling something that's not present right now. Yeah. Um, the sound of it is like, I don't know, I think it's universal, but it's, it's it feels familiar. Like, it feels familiar West, but it's uh, I think yeah. it's a new sound, so. Um, and this dude, like he got, he got a lot of good content. There's a lot of good substance on there. Yeah. And it's uh the the wordplay, the stories. It's I think it's great and it's solid. Yeah. So I can't wait for y'all to hear it, man. Definitely. Playing conversation to me is just total transparency. Like. Yeah. I think, like I like I, to elaborate what he said. Um, I I listen to all the new artists. Like I'm a huge fan of Drake. I watch his snaps be dying. Like, <laughs> Huge fan. I just think that it's it's nothing like what I'm doing, at least on this side, on, yeah. on the coast, yeah. with what I'm yeah. doing. Um, I'm just fully transparent. Like, I feel like, you know, 
that the game, like it's like a gang of niggas, like, oh, I'm the player, I got so many bitches. Yeah. But when they go home, they really mean though. They really want their bitch though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They really don't want to lose their bitch. They want their relationship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they're not gonna say that on record, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I'm gonna say that though. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you know, like, nah, yeah. I want my bitch. Nigga, fuck you. Yeah. You feel me? Like, Definitely. I'm, a, I'm totally transparent, or if I'm having issues with, you know, the mother of my kid, yeah. I speak on those things. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, you're not gonna pull no skeletons out of my closet. Yeah. And I'd rather I speak that. on that. And, you know, yeah. fabricated shit. Yeah, I've heard some records, and I'm like, I know there's some real shit. Like, you can't make some you shit can't up. Can't make yeah, it yeah. up. And it's yeah. dope because you yeah. gain fans that way because it's so yeah. relatable. It is relatable. Everybody goes so many, through that so many stuff, lyrics you know? that yeah, I've man. heard of him have like touched me. Like, yeah, some, some shit. And that's what we want. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We shooting for people to like really yeah. feel it. Like, we want people to ride to it. Yeah. We want people to I think enjoy it. Sal Trees was like quiet on the phone for like ten minutes. I played for you for him. He was like, man. <laughs> man, I was in the car. Like he, like yeah. he'll send me the records. And yeah, I'll be like, you know, with my girl or whatever, and I'm like, he sent that to me, and I was sitting there listening. Like, like I told her, like, hold up. Yeah, like, you gotta hold on. And then I played it like back to back. She like, I like that. It's some real like, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've heard of this record is probably I'm not released. I don't know if it is gonna get released. Uh, I just won't say the name of it, but I it. Well, it anniversary. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, there's yeah. some different versions of yeah, it. Right? Yeah, we got we, on this list to hear this. Yeah, yeah. we got we got a solid we got a solid new version of that too. Like, so I heard a lyric on there. It was like um, something like "Looking at your mama thought she raised you different" or some shit. Yeah. Like, that should touch my soul, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's some yeah. shit. I was there. Yeah, like, yeah. Damn, like you your mama me? ain't even a thought. Like, yeah, yeah. Why are yeah. you acting like one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my I don't God. understand where this is coming from. I don't understand. She didn't raise you that way. <laughs> Shit. It's not much fun because I and I feel I like there. that that <laughs> relating to the album, I feel yeah. like I listen to the stuff and I feel like, you know, I'm a little bit older than him, so like I listen to him and I'm like, damn, we damn right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So like Yeah, like man, yeah. like I feel like I feel you, like I've been through that exactly. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. Yeah. Most that? Damn, we gotta put that out. We gotta put that out for sure. Shit, yeah, we gotta premiere it on Rosecrans Radio. Oh, we oh, definitely will. Shit. We definitely will. <laughs> you got it. That's you. I do have it. You I gotta get you one of those buttons, man. You do. Push that button, bro. You got it, Rosecrans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just leak it for y'all. Oh, Don't worry. I got this record coming, though, five feet. I'm we trying to get, uh, I'm gonna just say it. I'm trying to get uh, my name Perico on it. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's. We'll talk to yeah, my man Cypress right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just yeah. crazy. I actually know Perico though. Like, oh, okay. It's crazy though. He's a real one. Like, yeah, he's, he, so he's a real one though. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Before he was, yeah. I mean, I mean, he was always doing music. Yeah. But before he was like really doing music, he was pulling up. You know, in my section, my big homies. Yeah. The ones where I, you know, I do my maneuvering. I see him. Yeah. He's coming over. He ain't coming over for music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He, he doing his thing though. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, so. To see him, how yeah. he's booming, I'm like, I'm nothing but proud of that dude. Yeah, because like, he's real. He's, yeah. really real. he's a real Every, genuine everyone, dude. Everyone could vouch for that. Yeah. 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 Most definitely. Shit, well, um, any any more shout outs? Anything? Uh, yeah. Shout out to my nigga PC. He just called my, I don't know if y'all know who PC is. Yeah, hell yeah. From Pushes? Yeah. 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 Shout out to PC. He just you called my be, brother. This is, crazy. this is a crazy ass story. I, I was fucking with, I was, man. <laughs> Man, all big, all praise to YG. Yeah. But PC was supposed to be the one. Yeah, and yeah. I'm going to just say that. You know, back in the day, it was Jay Nari and, yeah. and PC. And it was like, yo, this nigga is talented. I was listening to this nigga like he was somebody else. Like, Drake, like you feel me? I'm like, yeah. when is he dropping? When is he dropping new shit? Yeah. And for whatever reason, it just, it ain't took off yet. But I feel like he always has the potential to yeah, come back. Yeah, it's never make. too late. You see. Exactly. Like, but... Never. It's crazy. I just brought this man up the other day. Like, how is this nigga doing? My brother called me yesterday. Like, yo, you don't believe who I talk to. I'm like, who? He like PC, free PC. He he in jail right now. Oh shit. Dude. And so he free called man. my brother. He, Cause my uh, my brother homie is Sally's with him. Yeah. He's like, man, I see playing doing this thing, man. Tell him I'm proud of him. I'm like, that's yo, dope. that's fucking crazy. Yeah. So wow. shout out PC. Shout out Prime. Shout out the whole Diamond Lane. Man, shout out. Um, shout out my beautiful daughter Kennedy. She's hey. gonna be a star. Thank you, Sal. Sal has a flu right now. He can't yeah. be here, but shout out to Sal yeah, Cheesy. We hope to see you soon, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who else? Uh, Damn, did I miss anybody? Uh, we got the whole squad. Shit, shout out Bad Luck. Uh, I got a record coming with him. 
Me, Bad Luck, Jay Worthy. Oh, man. That shit is crazy. Um, who else? If I miss anybody, it's because I'm sleepy as fuck. I just came back from San Diego, so spare me. And shout out Rosecrans, my nigga. Yo, for having me. And me. I'm, yeah. I'm excited to be here, man, because yeah. I'm, I'm watching, and I'm like, yo, we got to get I love y'all show, my bro. Yeah, yeah, I love Rosecrans. Rose Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. For real, man. Now shout out uh, Miss Streamville over there. Oh, <laughs> my God. Every time. I, had <laughs> I, walked in, I walked in here, and I was on her head. I'm like, yo, what's up, Dreamville? Is that real? Dude, talk about Molly. Molly's called Dreamville or Mini Gang. One of the yeah, other. Yeah, I, like, I got the giggles. I'm like, like is yeah. that real? She's I, like, I, I like don't know. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'll fuck with you. Take a picture from me, though. <laughs> That's the reason why he started talking to me. He wanted me to take a photo of him. Damn. And then she said her name, and I'm like, oh, we're here for you. Yeah, yeah. It's lit, though. Shit, man. Uh, thank you, Plane. Thank you, Airplane James. Thank and my guy, TC, for thank pulling you. up. Uh, where can people find you guys? Social medias? Um, my Instagram is Airplane James 354 My Snap, some nigga took Airplane James. I don't know who the fuck you are. We are gonna Please find give you. it up. You do not do any music. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he probably, he's like a stewardess or something. Yeah, I don't yeah. fucking know. It's, uh, it's Airplane J. Okay. It's the wackiest shit ever, sir. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you should contact him and be like, yo, I'll give you 20 bucks for this snap. Yo, I don't know who the fuck it is, but I, I was like, it's not available. I'm like, who the fuck is impersonating me out here? <laughs> so Twitter is uh, Airplane354. Somebody got me on there, too. I actually looked at him with some nigga in Cleveland that just didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Does it have real? any tweets? He, yeah, he ain't been on Twitter since 2013. Dude, you can report oh, it and like take that name. That's the worst. I look into it for, for real. Trip. Shout out to people that have Shout out Bitch, Rose Pants <laughs> Ave. We can't have Rose Pants Ave. Yo! <laughs> right? We're Rose Pants Ave. Peep that. It's all good. Damn. Wait, oh. what? Man. Yeah, like, yeah, like someone has Rose Pants AVE. Damn. Yeah, and they haven't been on since like. So like forever. Dude, you didn't yeah. tell me I'm gonna fix that too. See? Yeah. Oh, she on it. Yeah, she she on it. Man. Um, shit, man. Thank you, everyone, for listening every week. Our numbers are booming right now. Appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys again. All I'm saying, hold on, don't just sign out. Shout out to Marcos. <laughs> He been not responding to my DM <laughs> <laughs> about this goddamn right. video. Yeah. So um, y'all hearing this, Rosecrans? I need a video from Marcos. Hey, the price and just went up. You I see yeah. this weekend. It's, 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 <laughs> it don't matter. We don't give it to him. Marcos, that's your shout out, loud, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I need the video. He said, "I'm gonna keep bugging you until you answer my fucking DM." You know where to find him every Monday. Every Monday. I come to Dash. I will be at Dash for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, man. All right, man. Thank y'all. Rose Pan's Radio. We out. Yeah. Hey, that was fun, bro. That was a lot.